Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about Tarka slip speed characteristics. For example, I am checking here speed and slip. Here I am checking speed and slip. For example, here NR is equal to 0. If NR is equal to 0, S is equal to 1. If NR is equal to NS, if NR is equal to NS, S is equal to 0. Generally, induction motor, induction motor rotates less than synchronous speed and greater than zero speed, right? Right? So this is called as induction motor. Induction motor. This is called as induction motor. So in induction motor, the starting torque should be there. That is called as THT. Nothing but the three-phase induction motor is a self-starting motor. That's why we have a small starting torque. After, if we draw the diagram for this, the graph for torque and slip speed. This is the torque characteristics of induction motor. Nothing but here we can get the maximum torque. Here we can get the maximum torque. At this condition, the slip is called as slip at maximum torque. And speed is called as rotor speed at maximum torque. Rotor speed at maximum torque, slip at maximum torque, and maximum torque, this is the value. And this is the starting torque. At starting, the speed is 0 and slip is 1. Where NR is equal to NS, I told you already, if my rotor captures the synchronous speed, it comes to rest. So, torque is equal to 0 and slip of course 0 here, but torque is also 0. Torque is also 0. Right? This is for induction motor. This is for induction motor. Next for induction generator. Induction generator. Next for induction generator. You know that generally induction generator speed is greater than synchronous speed. Induction generator speed is greater than synchronous speed. Here NR is equal to NS. Here NR is equal to, for example, 2 NS. Nothing but here the rotor speed in NS and this is the rotor speed greater than NS, right? Nothing but NR is equal to NS up to and my slip is equal to. Can you tell me what is the slip if NR is equal to NS? What is the slip formula? S is equal to NS minus NR by NS. What is NR here? 2ns. So ns minus 2ns by ns nothing but minus 1. For this induction generator, the characteristics are just reverse to the induction motor. Just reverse to the induction motor. This is for induction motor and this is for induction generator. And next one, if NR is equal to 0 here, and here NR is equal to minus NS, nothing but here the rotor rotates in reverse direction. Here the rotor rotates in reverse direction. If the rotor rotates in reverse direction, that is called as braking mode. That is called as braking mode. Braking mode. In braking mode, the speed is the speed is less than 0, greater than minus NS. Yes, if NR is equal to NS, what is the slip? Yes. If NR is equal to NS, the slip is 2. Be careful, sir. These are very important. See here, NR is equal to NS. NR is equal to NS. NR is equal to 0. NR is equal to minus NS. Here, slip is equal to 2. Slip is equal to 1, slip is equal to 0, slip is equal to minus 1. Like that. These are very important. So, for braking mode, in induction machine, braking mode, the torque characteristics are like this. In induction machine braking mode, the torque characteristics are like this. 
these are the torque slip speed characteristics of induction machine in different modes one is for induction generator and induction motor and induction braking mode and braking mode now tell me is this is the linear or non linear sir yes exactly non linear sir what is this car generally this is the rectangular hyperbola and this is the linear curve this is the linear curve rectangular hyperbola nothing but i told you already inversely proportional directly proportional nothing but linear curve directly proportional nothing but linear and rectangular hyperbola nothing but inversely proportional yes now tell me if the slip values are more at high slip values at high slip values tell me at high slip values torque is inversely proportional to slip at high slip values torque is inversely proportional to slip here slip zero slip zero nothing but low slip values are high slip values at low slip values the torque is directly proportional to slip at low slip values torque is directly proportional to slip in induction motor this is for induction motor at higher slip values the torque is inversely proportional to slip at lower slip values the torque is directly proportional to slip whereas in induction generator whereas in induction generator see here here s is equal to 0 here s is equal to minus 1 which is greater which is lesser 0 is the greater or lesser than minus 1 yes exactly 0 is the greater one right so for high slip values the torque is directly proportional to slip because this is linear right this is linear right that's why torque is directly proportional to slip at higher slip values what about here at lower slip values at lower slip values torque is inversely proportional to slip for induction generator for lower slip values torque is inversely proportional to slip for higher slip values torque is directly proportional to slip torque is directly proportional to slip yes of course next one is this is the stable condition or unstable condition this is unstable condition and this is stable condition this is stable condition and this is unstable condition now tell me where we can get the stable condition in induction motor where we can get the stable condition in induction motor in induction motor stable condition occurs at low slip values high speed values stable condition occurs at low slip values high speed values low slip values high speed values stable condition unstable condition occurs at unstable condition occurs at high slip values low speed values high slip values low speed values we can get unstability and uh, low slip value high speed value we can get stable condition for induction motor very very important sir right for induction generator for induction generator this is the stable region this is the unstable region unstable region yes now tell me stable region occur said stable region occur said high slip values low speed values because zero is greater than minus 1 but ns is less than 2 ns that's why high slip values low speed values stable condition and what about unstable condition high speed values low slip values we can get unstable condition for generator this is for generator this is for generator this is for generator and this is for motor where we can get the stable condition where we can get the unstable condition those are important and also here where we can get the linear and where we can get the non linear nothing but rectangular hyperbola torque is directly proportional to option a s option b 1 by s option c both a and b option d none of the above both a and b sir 
Torque may be directly proportional to slip or inversely proportional to slip. But uh, if the question is clear, like this, at starting condition of induction motor, what is the relation between torque and slip? At starting condition, the relation is inversely proportional. At steady state condition or at stable condition, what is the relation between torque and slip? At stable condition or steady state condition, the torque is directly proportional to slip. The torque is directly proportional to slip. Right? Like that they are asking questions, many questions. They, will, they may form many questions on this concept. On this concept. Very important concept. Finally, in induction motor, Finally, in induction motor, what is the speed range? They are asking, what is the speed range? In induction motor, the speed range is greater than 0 and less than ns. As we know that. Greater than 0, less than ns. Whereas in induction generator, what is the speed range? Whereas in induction generator, the speed range is greater than ns and less than 2ns greater than ns and less than 2ns s as we know that in induction generator the rotor speed is greater than synchronous speed and comes to here in braking mode what is the speed range in braking mode the speed range is greater than minus ns greater than minus ns and less than zero greater than minus ns and less than zero nothing but reverse direction of rotation so see minus ns to zero zero to ns ns to two ns minus ns to two ns got it right next tell me what is the slip range for braking mode what is the slip range for braking mode yeah, the slip range is greater than 1 and less than 2. The slip range is greater than 1 and less than 2. Greater than 1 and less than 2, the slip range of braking mode. Now, induction generator. What is the slip range of the induction generator? The slip range of the induction generator greater than minus 1 and less than 0. Greater than minus 1 and less than 0. Greater than minus 1 because it is a minus, right? Okay. Greater than minus 1, less than 0. What is the slip range of induction motor? What is the slip range of induction motor? Greater than 0, less than 1. Greater than 0, less than 1. These are the topics they are asking. They are asking the different types of questions based on these characteristics. See these characteristics once clearly. Observe clearly. Here, this is the induction motor and this is the induction generator and this is the induction braking. They are asking question. Induction machine rotates in which of the following possibilities? Option A, motoring mode. Option B, generating mode. Option C, braking mode. Option D, all of the above. Yeah, all of the above. The induction machine also rotates in motoring mode and generating mode and braking mode also. In braking mode also. Right? Where we can get the linearity at linearity occurs at low slip values and high speed values. Like that, they are asking questions on this topic. For example, see here. How they are asking questions. See here. Some competitive exam questions, for example, they are asking questions. This is my induction motor characteristics. My induction motor characteristics are like this. My induction motor characteristics are like this. For example, this is point A. For example, this is point B. For example, this is point C. For example, this is point D. And for example, this is point E. This is point E. They are asking question like that. This is induction machine induction machine induction machine induction machine nothing but it may be motor generator as well as braking mode this is the motoring mode this is the braking mode and this is the generating mode you have to see clearly 
They may ask like this or they may ask like this also and they may ask like this also and they may ask in generally also. They may ask. In each and every question paper they are shifting their rotation simply. But we know that generally in middle which is the characteristics are like this. This is induction motor. If the characteristics are like this in reverse induction generator. If the characteristics are like this this is induction braking mode. Now the first question. Now the first question, first question, listen carefully, many questions are there. First question, which of the following point at maximum torque condition, at maximum torque condition? Can you tell me which of the following point at maximum torque condition? Yeah, exactly, option C, C is the correct answer. Second question, which of the following point at unstable condition? Which of the following point at unstable condition? Tell me which are the following at unstable condition? Yeah, exactly. The B at rectangular hyperbola is unstable condition. Which of the following points at stable condition? Which of the following points at stable condition? Which of the following points at stable condition? Option D and E both are. D for induction motor and E for induction generator both are at uh, stable points. Yes or no? Because of linear, if it is linear curve, that is the stable condition. We know that. Right? So, maximum point C, unstable point B, stable point D and E. And next question, they are asking, which of the following point is at, is at slip greater than 1? Next question, which of the following point is at slip greater than 1? Slip greater than 1. I told you already these are very important. Once see here, once see here, once see here. Here the slip P is greater than 1. Here the slip P is greater than 1. Once see here, once see here. Here the slip P is less than 0. Here the slip P is less than 0. Now tell me, which of the following pointed slip greater than 1? So greater than 1 slip P is nothing but option A. Yes or no? Option A. Now the question. Now the fifth question. Which of the following point is at slip less than zero? Which of the following point at slip less than zero? Tell me first. Less than zero is induction generator. So point E. Point E at slip less than zero. Yes or no? Next question. They are asking which of the following point at slip in between? Slip in between 1 and 0. Slip in between 1 and 0. Sir, slip 1 and 0, nothing but induction motor, sir. Induction motor, nothing but? Induction motor, nothing but? B, C and D. B, C and D. B, C and D. All are in induction motor. This is induction braking. This is induction generator. Like that, they are asking many questions. They are asking many questions on this single diagram. Recently they asked in many competitive exams. Even though it is very important in IES, they asked already in IES. Right? But in generally, in gate exam, most preference is problems, that's why. In gate exam, they may not ask the question. If they want to ask the theory question, this is the first preferable question. If they want to ask the theory question from induction machine, this is most preferable question. Right, sir? So, like that, they are asking questions. The maximum torque point is the C. Unstability. Unstability, nothing but rectangular hyperbola. B. Stability, nothing but linear. This is for induction motor and this is for induction generator. Slip greater than 1. Greater than 1 slip, nothing but braking mode. A. Less than 0, nothing but induction generator. E. The slip in between 0 and 1. The slip in between 0 and 1 is nothing but induction motor B, C, D. Like that they may ask many questions on this. These are the, the torque slip speed characteristics of induction machine. The torque slip speed characteristics of torque slip speed characteristics of induction machine. Is very 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 important concept. Right, sir.